Well, today I've got another video on my camper, and this is going to pertain to the air conditioning system that we installed last year. A couple ways to see if we can power it better. guys welcome back to Camp Geeks and so today on my camper project um, we are going to use a battery system in this case uh, the EcoFlow EF Delta series battery um, this is a very nice very large uh, I think it's 1300 watt hour uh, battery um, there are six AC outlets on one side uh, four USB outlets there's actually uh, solar input um, DC input there are two USB-C ports. It is a fantastic battery. Um, I've actually done uh, kind of an open, unboxing opening video for it so far. I have a lot more videos I have planned for it. Um, I'm gonna put links to any additional videos I do to this specific unit, especially the unboxing. You can actually take a peek at that. Uh, that's gonna be down below. So if you have any questions, go ahead and see that one. I'll also put links to their website so you can take a peek at their product. But we're gonna see if we can get this power that air conditioner it's probably not going to power for very long and I kind of want to see how long it would actually do it for so let's do it okay so we are in the camper it is a stifling 89 degrees in here with the sun beating down on it it's over 80 degrees outside and I have and I'm up top here but I have this guy plugged directly in to the one of the AC outlets on the actual battery system itself I'm gonna go ahead and turn it, the power on all right, so we are on and ready to go. Uh, make sure everything's good here. I'm gonna turn, there's a button back here for the AC outlets. And I have those now are on. So we have power going to the air conditioning system and it is started up. So of course we have to wait for the compressor to kick in. Let's give it a minute to see when the compressor kicks in. And we can also see on the battery system here, it's saying that I can run this guy for 19 hours with just the fan running. Yep, 19 hours. Really? That's awesome. It's only running at 67 watts, so not a whole lot of power outlet, but when that air conditioner kicks on, we're going to take pay attention. So I'm going to get down there, I'm going to really pay attention to how much juice she takes. So 19 hours, 98% battery. It's been a little while since it charged fully, but... If I wanted to just run the fan, that would definitely work for an overnight venture. And there she goes, she kicked on. So we had a real nice spike on it. But if this was to run continuously, I can run that air conditioner right there for three hours on this battery. And that's barring that I don't put anything back into the battery. That's pretty amazing. Um, I am going to see if I can't plug the uh, the solar charger into this. I don't I only have one solar panel, but let's see if that makes any difference. So I apologize if you don't see this very well, but I'm also going to see if I can't video the source. I have this plugged into my MP4 connections for my, or MC4 connections for my solar panel. So this plugs into the side, so my head's going to be in the way probably. Here we go, plugging in the solar panel. Then, oh, 50 watts coming in on the solar, ramping up a little bit. They need to be cleaned, I know that. 60 watts. So obviously not enough so much to overtake how much more power, how much more time we're going to get out of this. But, if I was to get maybe two or three more solar panels up there, it would definitely make a difference out of the 500 watts that we have coming in, or going out. So the trailer's already cooling down. It is, uh, I can feel that really well. It's working. Uh, it's definitely gone down to two hours. We're, only, we're still at 96% battery. Um, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. Obviously the solar panel's coming in, that's a 100 watt solar panel, but it's also not at the right angle right now. Um, and it's not clean, it's pretty dirty up there. 
So that would be another thing to consider is if I was to clean it, how much more power. Right now I'm sitting at about 61 watts coming in. So maybe I'll do that real quick. I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to go outside and clean it. See if I can actually increase that without doing anything. It's flat on the roof, so I know it's not getting the greatest uh, amount in. But, obviously if I was to add a few more, it would definitely make a difference. So, let me go clean it. So, it was pretty gross sitting up here all winter. But you can see, it's getting full sun. But it's, like I said, it's flat on my roof like when I installed it. But it is a 100 watt Renogy panel that I got off Amazon. 100 bucks or so. Let's see what, what was on inside now after I cleaned it. So, from dirty to clean we're talking two watt difference not a whole lot so whether or not it's just because of the angle and I would say that's probably mainly it it's probably not gonna ever get exactly a hundred watts but if I was to add more of them it would make a difference so before I used to have my small battery system up here which obviously I'm making a change um, I have these are the, the connections for the solar panel coming in currently and then I have those draped down to the cable down to here and then of course where we are we're sitting at 63 watts in 630 out that's changing every so often um, as it it's probably just because the system is getting hotter um, but even at two hours I'm very impressed 93% still it's getting much cooler in here I can feel the coolness and of course I can still exhaust if I needed to to get rid of some of the hot air um, but yes it works uh, take two would be putting the generator on here um, and proving that in, in all reality it's not going to prove anything this is the way to get your get in, in terms of my case because I have a digital air conditioning unit not an analog system that doesn't like the eco mode on my generator I can plug the generator in eco mode into the trailer the trailer then plugged into the Delta um, and then the Delta into the air conditioner and so it's actually working as a bridge between the two uh, and if you do that it'll keep this battery topped off and it'll just run it through but if it obviously the uh the the surge should be taken care of by the ef delta so um maybe we'll do a quick test just to prove it so to prove my point i have the generator out here it's a 2000 watt honda the e 2009 i do have eco mode on i don't know how well you can see that uh, there it is of course you can hear it too because if I turn it off it ramps way up but with eco mode on we were having a hard time getting the air conditioner to stay on so let's go check it out so a couple things we're gonna do first I'm gonna plug my battery system into the generator which is gonna be into the system I have in here so I'm just gonna plug that into the side here uh, so now we can actually see the input it's gonna probably change you can hear it actually kick on it's got 142 watts coming in to charge the battery, 143, and that'll probably ramp up as we go. 164, 178, 206. And I can hear the generator going up a little bit, but it's not really that bad. All right. Yeah, now it's coming 500 watts coming in, 600 watts coming in. But now we're going to kick the air conditioner on, too. And I'm going to actually film that screen as we go. And of course, the air conditioner is going to have a couple minutes of, of uh, loop, loop back before it'll actually kick on. But uh, here we go. We're turning it on. Oh, I got to plug it in. Jeez. And I have that into the generator. There we go. Turn on the air conditioner. That kicked right on. Holy cow. You can actually see the input go way down and the output go way up. So now we're actually still seeding the battery. We have a thousand watts coming in. We have 600 watts going out. Look, remember, it's a 2000 watt generator. So it's still ramping up. Wow, it's crazy. So it's estimating the recharge time on my battery is 11 minutes before this battery is to full because it's pulling that much juice. Air conditioner is definitely running. You can hear the pump running over there. Let's go listen to the uh, to the generator. So she's definitely working harder now. Now she ramped down. 
wonder what for. Let's go find out. Because it's not pulling as much. It must have been pulling too much almost. 800 watts in, 600 watts out. So it definitely ramped it down automatically and it's ramping it back up for charge time. Let's go back out here. and it automatically ramped down when I did that but now it's ramping back up again this battery system is working as a great buffer because you can see the, the wattage going out the air conditioner has not quit it is continuing to go no matter what's going on with the generator it is a fantastic buffer between the two and of course the recharge time on the battery here is going to go so if I had a full battery I don't think we'd have the problem you know the, the cycle time between the generator but it's a great buffer that is for sure and of course if we increase how much voltage is coming in off of dc mainly the uh the solar panels then it'll decrease the load on the generator as well so it seems as though every time that this pumps up to about 1500 watts the generator kind of kicks off for a second and then it resets restarts how much is coming in and so this just slowly builds up it's trying to ramp up the charging of this guy. Uh, ramp it up, ramp it up, ramp it up, ramp it up. And then it, it'll eventually pop way down. 1435. Just pull a lot off that generator. And there you can hear it kick off again. Now it may be the battery that's causing that and not the generator. I don't know. But... I do know that it's the air conditioner has not stopped. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off the, the air conditioner, pull that off of the off the system, and see if it actually still does the ramp up, ramp down thing that it's been doing with the generator. Because now it doesn't have to go to the you know 1500 watts basically the charge cycle time plus how much it was actually being used by uh, the air conditioner. So I don't think we're going to have the same issue. I mean, obviously it's still slowly ramping up, but I still don't think we're going to have the same issue as we were having with the other. But let's push it on the system again. Turn it on. This So it, you can see that it kicked off from the generator, but it was probably actually pulling it right into it, but it works like a charm. It absolutely works like a charm. Now we're probably going to see that ramp up to the kickoff point again. Yep. I think it is the generator that's actually doing it. So if I had a higher power generator, it wouldn't cause that issue. I guess the easy way to do it, let's plug it into the house rather than the generator. So it's been a little bit, but um, I do now have it plugged into the house. Um, I had to go record, so <laughs> obviously we're at 99% battery, two minutes to recharge. Uh, it's pulling 1,000 watts, 550 to the air conditioner. I had the air conditioner off for a short bit while I was getting everything rewired up. So I'm sure that's going to jump up into the 600 range eventually once it warms back up again, but it's it's cooling again. Um, uh, one thing that I I have I have a thought that maybe uh, assisting with the generator uh, shut down or re-pull up is the power cord, the cord that plugs from the wall into the actual unit was getting really really warm. Now. I have a whole bunch of these cords, so I don't know if I actually grabbed the one that came in the box. Um, I swapped that out for a different one. This is the heaviest gauge one I could find. So I know that I, I have a heavier gauge one. I think it's probably the one that came with. I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. But that said, 
Um, this is actually, this one's already getting warm again. Whenever you have a power cable that gets warm, you're obviously drawing too much power through it, and that can increase resistance and everything, and, and could pop the circuit. So that may be assisting to it. So I, even though that's a cooler one and it's warming back up again, that might be one of our problems with the, the air conditioner. So I may have a few things to try here in the short future to, to remedy that, but everything's working otherwise. And uh, here, as you can see, it's coming off the, the grid for power plus and obviously once it recharges and there's and it's fully you know it's basically back to 100 percent that input wattage should drop because it's not charging the battery anymore it's just outputting to the air conditioner basically this is going to act as a throughput and then a storage unit that when that compressor kicks on it's there for it i think it's showing what i'm saying it's it's actually ramping down the input we're down to 800 watt 880 just obviously up on the uh the air conditioner is warming up, so it's uh, at 660. But we're almost fully charged, and you can see the discrepancy between the two numbers is not as big. It's not doesn't have to pull in as much as it did before. So that's always a big thing if you get the battery to 100%. Definitely taxes whatever you have plugged in to power the battery less. And of course, right after I do it, now you can see it's it's 100% charged. We're equal. So it ramped down to the point where it's done. And that was just like 30 seconds ago I stopped recording, not even. So, equal in, equal out. So that's the EF Delta in use with my contraption air conditioning that I added to my trailer. Um, give me uh, some ideas in the comments below if you have some ideas for me to try out, see what I can do to this, um, or to the air conditioner, or to the setup, um, that you can think that it would make a, a good future video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you can for me. Um, but I do, I will have more coming for this. Um, especially once I figure out how I want to actually wire the trailer into it. Um, I'm probably going to do some more research on some stuff. But yeah, if you have any questions or ideas, comment below. Or just head over to Camp Geeks and you can contact me directly through there. It's a lot easier to go through that way. Um, and that way you can send an email directly to me and it's 100% guaranteed that I'm going to see it. Comment below. I try to keep up, but I don't always keep up. It all depends on what my life's going on. But if you have an idea, please let me know. Uh, and uh, yeah, you'll probably see it in a future video. That said, guys, it's getting warm out. It's time to go back in. See you soon.